Okay, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about how the slopes of Bode amplitude plots work, and in particular how the units work, because it can be a little confusing. So you have to remind yourself of what a logarithm is. So a log of x equals y, what does that mean? It means basically that 10 to the y would equal x. So for example, the log of 100 equals 2, because 10 to the 2 is equal to 100. Similarly, the log of 1,000 is 3, the log of 10,000 is 4, the log of 0 0.01 would be minus 2, and so on. A transfer function, you'll remember, is the ratio of the output phasor of a circuit to the input phasor. And in general, um, it can be pretty complicated. We're going to choose a simple one here just so that we can use it as an example. It's not a real transfer function, it's just one I made up. So here we're going to say alpha over j omega, where omega is the frequency in radians per second, so alpha has to have radians per second too because h is unitless. So I'll choose a value of 1,000 radians per second. And to plot this in a Bode plot, we have to take the logarithm. So the log of the magnitude of h is just the log of alpha over omega. The j disappears when you take the magnitude. And from the rule of logarithms of quotients, that's going to be log of alpha minus log omega. Now we'll rewrite this with the log omega in front and the minus sign there and then the log alpha, because that allows us to map it onto the form y equals mx plus b, which is the form for a linear line with slope m and intercept b on a y-x axis. So if we choose log h for our y-axis and log omega for our x-axis, then our slope will be minus 1, and our intercept will be the log of alpha, which is log of 1,000, which is 3. So over here I've plotted that, so ignore the red for now, just look at the blue. The y-axis is log h, the x-axis is log omega, here's the values, 1, 2, 3, as I said, ignore the red for now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And the slope is going to be minus 1, so I've drawn that line with slope of minus 1 and an intercept of 3, just like I said. Now that, the reason we have the red there is because to put it into units of decibels, we have to multiply it by 20. So that's what the red is. So the, the red is 20 times 1, 40 times, uh, 20 times 2, which is 40, and 20 times 3, which is 60. And so the slope uh, goes from being minus 1 to being minus 20 decibels. The only problem is per what? What is the x-axis here? And it's a little bit confusing because we have the log of a radian per second, which is not really a unit. You can't take the logarithm of something with units. So a way around that is to, instead of plotting log of omega here, we can plot just omega, but we'll plot it on a semi-log paper. So I have an example here. So uh, this paper, we've taken the x-axis and we've redrawn it. Uh, as omega, and the 1, 2, 3, 4 change to a 10 to the 1, 10 to the 2, 10 to the 3, etc. We've got the same slope in here, but now the um, run is 10 times, and the rise is minus 20 dB, and so the slope is minus 20 dB per decade. Now, this word decade we use to represent a factor of 10. Why is it that this one unit here corresponds to a factor of 10? If you look at the bottom here, each one unit in the x-axis is like multiplying the previous value by 10. So we multiply by 10 to go to 100, multiply 10 to go to 1,000, and so forth. So each step here is a decade. A decade is defined to be multiplying it by 10. Now sometimes you'll see people using units of octaves for frequency instead. An octave is just multiplying it by a factor of two, and you can convert between decades and octaves simply by thinking how many factors of two does it take to fill in a factor of 10. Well, you can figure that out, you can calculate that by taking the log base two of 10, just inverting this equation, which turns out to be 3.3, .3, and the units of that would be octaves in each dec decade. So 3.3 factors of two fit into one factor of 10. So from that, you can convert between this minus 20 dB per decade that we had by just dividing by the 3.3 octaves per decade. You'll see here that the decades cancel, and you're left with minus 6 dB per octave. Now that actually turns out to be a pretty important number, just like this minus 20 dB per decade. It shows up all the time in filter characteristics or multiples of, multiples of it, like factors of 2 and 3 of it might show up, and you'll learn more about that as you move on in circuits. So I hope this has been useful for you. You've learned a little bit about how 
slopes of Bodhi amplitude plots work, and you're welcome to leave comments or questions in the bottom or to share this video with your colleagues or uh, fellow students if you find it useful.